The electricity use in Christchurch, Christchurch is best modeled by a sine curve. When you say sine curve, you can write this as a cosine, a sine and cosine are basically the same graph. The usage reaches, the usage re reaches a peak at 6:30 a.m. of 32 megawatts per hour. I think that's what the short form is, and a minimum at 10:30 of 24 megawatts so let's try to understand the fact so let's whenever you have a situation like this first let's write this so this is a sine curve so this has a period this has an amplitude this has a maximum and minimum so let's write here so you say this is t time and e for electricity that's a mega watts per hour so T is time and you are relating time with megawatts. So I hope you know that T is the inde independent variable and megawatts is the dependent. So this will come on the X axis, this is going to the X axis and this is going to the Y axis. So what are we saying? 630 peaks. So you got uh, six at 630 you have got a peak of 32 megawatts and at 1030 1030 you have a the minimum okay you can see this is a trough of 24 megawatts now from this you can say well a sine curve has a maximum and minimum so we, we can say well what's the maximum the maximum is 32 and what's the minimum minimum is 24 now from this what can you write well I can find the baseline okay the baseline is the average of this two so 32 plus 24 is how much 56 so half of that is 28 okay and from this amplitude is the distance between the baseline and the maximum or minimum so if you go from 28 to 32 you have an amplitude of 4 now from this fact you can also tell what's the period so from maximum to minimum you have half a period so this is how many hours so 6 30 7 30 8 30 9 30 10 30 so this is four hours so the period is eight hours so within one day you have how many cycles if one period is eight hours within one day you have a cycle of three cycles okay so this fact is enough to draw the sine curve. So the first thing is to sketch the sine curve. So let's take, we'll put the time later on. Okay, we'll not worry about the time now. We'll say time is zero. So this is your time. This is time, T for time, and MWH, megawatts per hour. So let's go, so let's, say this is zero this is zero so you got one period is eight hours so let's one so let's do two cycles okay so 16 so mm, one two three four this is one period again one two three four so this is four no so this is uh, so this is 2, this is 4, this is 6, 8. You got 8 hour period and then this is 10, 12, 14 and 16. Okay, we'll put the time later on. So we know the baseline, the baseline is 28. So it's not drawn to sketch, it's not drawn to scale. This is 28. Okay, this is your minimum and this is your maximum so so the uh, minimum is how much minimum is 24 your baseline is 28 and your maximum is 32 okay so let's say okay so now let's talk about the time okay so the time uh, you can start at 6:30 yeah okay it says here since midnight 
okay so so if this is okay form an equation on time since midnight okay it doesn't matter okay so we'll ignore this for a while okay find an equation based on time of electricity consumption in Christchurch so let's ignore this I will I'll come to this later so this is 0 and say, say this is 630 this is 630 a.m. this is 630 a.m. and uh, after four hours this is 1030 a.m. and so on I hope you can see the time so at 630 what are we getting? We are getting a peak at 6.30. So at 6.30 this is a peak and at 10.30 you have the minimum. So at 8.30 this would be baseline. At 12.30 again you will get the baseline and uh, again whatever that time is. So let's finish two cycles. half a day no 16 hours sorry not half a day this is 16 hours you got three cycles so the graph would look like this you can put the time I hope you see the pattern so the question is so let's write the equation what's the equation so the equation if you start it depends on your starting point so let's start this is your starting point so from here if you're starting this is a cost graph okay and the amplitude is this is 4 and this is also 4 so the equation is so let's say this is y and this is x you can also say this is t so this is y is equal to it's a positive cost graph so it's 4 cost 360 divided by the period which is 8 x plus c let me put plus c here plus the baseline which is 28 so this simplifies to y is equal to 4 cos this is 360 divided by let me use my calculator so this is let me run uh, that's it 360 divided by 8 equal 45 okay so this is 45 this is 45 X uh, okay now if you put the start okay let me put plus C plus 28 I don't have space so let me and drag up slightly so this is y is equal to 4 cos okay now if you put if you put the starting point as 0 here yeah, the, the starting point is 0 here yeah, x is 0 at the starting point so if you put x 0 here yeah, this is 45 times 0 is 0 so c will become 0 so this is there is no phase shift basically here yeah. so this is 45 x plus 28 now C represents the phase shift basically no phase shift so this is your equation now if you start here there is a phase shift this is a this is a sine graph which has shifted to the right so there will be a value for C so let's confirm this on the calculator okay so yeah okay the, uh, you can so let's go to graph and type in what's the equation okay I want to see the equation yeah so this is 4 cos bracket 45 x close the bracket plus 28 equal I need to change the scale I'll go from z on x axis I'll go from 0 to 16 16 at a step of uh, step of 2 isn't it yeah and on y axis I'll go from 0 to say 40 step of 4 would do so this is your cost graph okay and you can see uh, the maximum 
so let's find G sol and maxima. You can see in eight you are reaching the maxima. Okay, so the equation is right. And finally, when the consumption reaches 30 megawatts per hour, a penalty is applied. How many hours a day do you expect the power to exceed 30 hours? So you can al again use a calculator. So let's take the first cycle. If you take, say, if you look at only the first cycle, my graph is not perfect, so this should be. So this should be at 8, okay? The graph is uh, very strange. It's not perfect, so this should be 8. The graphing skill should be better. 2, 4, 6, 8. So this should be 8. Okay, I hope you understand. So 30 megawatts is reached here. So basically this equation is how much is this time? So if you know this time, that much same will be this time from here to this time. Okay, or you can also think that way. If you find this much time, and if you take away 8 from that, that will give you this much time. So the answer for this is, I want you to do that yourself. The final answer is 8 hours. I know the answer. I want you to use a graphic calculator to find this time, this time, and this time. Okay, and from that, if you take away 8 hours, you'll get this and that is in one cycle of eight hours and that you times it by three that will give you eight hours i think you can do that yourself